Uh, they've got so many questions about this. <laughs> this thing, in terms of is it creative or is it not? And also, I was just kind of fascinated by this and thought it would be an exciting opportunity to uh, do an unboxing video because I've got this. So, so th then this becomes unboxing. But like this idea, the thing I'm talking about is not so much to do with the, the album. We can talk about that too. But uh, this thing of having the discless box, which she was trying to sell, to, well, you know, trying to sell, sounds disparaging, which she was selling to people. And it's a variation on other marketing things, like when uh, Taylor produces eight different versions of an album where it's the same album, but you can buy it in different packaging with different bits and pieces. Um, but Lord has taken the bold step. I don't think it's really much happened before. I'm not giving you the music when you buy this thing. Have you seen about this thing? Are you aware of this, people? Uh, I'm looking for faces. Not necessarily. So, um, you know, <laughs> so pop stars make music, right? You know that. Um, at root, you can always get it on your streaming platforms, which you can for this. I mean, these days, that's how it works, isn't it? That's where you get music, basically. Uh, then music is also produced like it used to be in the past, or like when I grew up, uh, in some physical formats. Um, vinyl is having a resurgence, and vinyl's nice. I always liked vinyl before, just cause, but just the fact that when you bought music, I quite like the transaction where you actually buy into it, for one thing, though obviously it costs money. Um, but it made it a bit more... Made it a bit more of a thing when you got new music because you had to actually go out and get it. I'm trying to avoid just being an old person reminiscing about the past here, but that's slightly happening. I'm sorry. Um, but also you got this great piece of art with it, like a, especially a 12-inch record or a 12-inch single. You got this great thing that you could actually bring back to the shops and it's nice to have things, I think. Maybe because I'm old. But um, yeah, I like, I like things. And so in this case, argue, well, I think she is saying it's for environmental reasons. Uh, Lord isn't contributing to the growing number of pointless CDs in the world uh, because she hasn't put the music on a CD. <laughs> uh, but she's produced a thing, the discless box. As you can see on this sticker, look, so you get this box. Uh, I've got so many questions about this and uh, I'm interested to hear what you think about it. I think, I mean, when I, I bought it on Amazon, right? Sorry, but I did. And, and there's lots of reviews from people going, oh, I can't believe it. There's not a CD in the box kind of thing. Those, I don't know. Like, if you're enough of a fan to be buying a CD, like, I don't know who buys CDs anymore. But if you're enough of a fan to be buying the CD, you should realize, and it says discless thing. You know, it's, it's quite clear that you're not buying a CD. But it does look like a CD. Look, here. I'm going to open it in a minute. Um, I think this... I like the fact, sorry, I'll get your opinion in a minute. Um, I like the fact of having a physical thing, because like you're going to listen to the music on your streaming thing anyway, right? So you don't need the music. She's right. She doesn't need to give you the music on a format. If it did have the CD in it, I wouldn't play the CD. I haven't got a way to play CDs, I don't think. Um, at the same time, because it looks like a CD box, it seems really strange that it hasn't got a CD in it. And it's like, I can sort of understand the people who are like, she hasn't put a CD in the box. <laughs> because it looks like a CD box. The thing is, I think you could have like a physical thing that goes with some music. Like if you think of an artist who you really love and they bring out music these days and it just appears on your streaming service and there's, so, there's not much of a sense of ceremony. And maybe you like them enough that you want to actually spend some money on having a thing that goes with it. Which, which is what she's doing, I guess. But then I think the mistake is to make it look like a CD box because then... Then you just think, oh, well, it's, it's like a CD box without a CD in it. And you think that because it looks like a CD box. If it was like any other shape or size or something, then you wouldn't think that. If it was a triangle, I wouldn't think, oh, there's no CD inside it. How would you get a CD inside the triangle anyway? <laughs> but because it, I don't know why she's made a thing that looks like a CD box. Would you like me to open it now? Abby would. And so would Rowan. That's enough people for me. Okay. I was sufficiently intrigued to actually buy it. I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't for this. I thought it'd be interesting to own it here because it's easy to look at this picture and think, oh, it, you know, it's just a box with nothing in it. But maybe it's actually quite rewarding. I'm going to find out now. 
Okay. Um, so there goes the nice sticker. Oh, yeah, I should hold it up so you can see what I'm... Um, there goes the nice sticker. I'm actually sad. I've paid money for all the things that I've only made of paper anyway. So when I have to throw away the sticker, that's like I've lost something already. That was like 5% of the whole product. <laughs> and, and this bit of this, I should cherish this because this is physical matter that I've paid money for. Um, but look, so there's the box. It is a CD box shape. Which, that's the mistake I think. Any other shape, any other size would be better. I can't open it. And I'm displayed this. Oh, okay. Right. You see, in the old days, you won't remember this, but sometimes you could get a CD that came with some nice stuff in a box. And it was really nice because they're giving you lots of extra stuff. It's like they're giving you all that stuff for free, in addition to the thing that you thought you'd pay money for, which was the music. It's on a CD in the box. In this case, no CD in the box. Um, box, quite, quite a pleasant box made of cup. Uh, things. Uh, there's Lord on the beach. There's she's written us some notes, not not handwritten as such, printed. I'm not saying she she had the handbag. That would be unreasonable. Uh, things I'm not holding things in front of the camera. Am I? Hang on, dropping bits. This is probably my download. Code. Look, it's described as. Can you even see that? I'm a member of the International Solar Institute now. So that's good because I wasn't before. Now I am. And I get a code and I may get some bonus tracks. I mean, she would have to, wouldn't she? If it's when she feels like it. At some point, well, then Ella Yelik O'Connor, that's Lord, um, described here as an energy consultant. She will give me some extra stuff if I do the download thing. What do you even do with the download now those days? And somebody on uh, Amazon was complaining, like it's a WAV file with this the massive WAV, you know what I mean? MP3 is compressed, WAV file is the uncompressed file. So she is able to describe it as a high res album down, but it's just a WAV file. And nobody knows what to do with that once they've downloaded it. So like, well, <laughs> you have to convert it into an MP3 before you can play it. That's not helpful. I'm now gonna see what you've said in the chat. Uh, <laughs> you think I felt like it wasn't a very good unboxing video. Thank you for saying you got an unboxing video, but I felt like I don't know. I should have. I didn't have a good way of showing you the stuff. Actually, this stuff's quite good. So um, the booklet is quite a substantial booklet. It gives you the credits, which if you're old like me, you like knowing who mixed it and engineered it and who played drums on track seven, that kind of thing. Um, and the fact that you could get that information anyway on Discogs or Wikipedia, somehow. I like it better that she put it in a book for me. So that's nice. Um, we do have lyrics in, I mean, getting the lyrics in a book never used to seem that exciting. Um, but it's design, designer. Look, I'm not showing you much. Just show, look, it's, a proper, it's got quite a few pages. As CD books go, it's quite a good one. But it always seemed like you got the booklet for free when you were buying a CD. If you're not buying a CD, then uh, it's a bit weird. There's also a, a fold out post, fold out poster. It's like, does she think I'm seven? But it's all right. <laughs> it's not a bad fold out poster. Let's see. Uh, if I work hard on something like that, it would feel so good to have my name in print. Yes, Rowan. You mean it's nice to have a physical thing? Yeah, like, I think that if I worked hard on that, like, I wouldn't want to have people, like, have to go on, like, the Wikipedia page of, like, the song discography to, like, figure out that I worked on it. Like, it's nice to get mm. that sort of inherent recognition. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is nice to have a thing. Like, I like this music. I've got it now. There used to be a sense in which you got music. You know, I own that album or I don't, um, which no longer exists. And that's fine, obviously, because... <laughs> Spotify and Apple Music, etc. Very helpful, very convenient way of getting music. But you don't have that sense of whether you own it or not. Now I feel like I do own a slice of Europe with this. Um, actually, this, this box was better than I thought it was going to be. I've been through many feelings about this. <laughs> uh, and at first I just, it seems like really knobbish to not believe, like, I can't believe that she's made a box without anything in it, sort of thing. 
Um, but I sort of, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is quite, quite solid, good quality. It's not just like a piece of paper with printing on, it's solid, solid product from Lure. Um, I've decided to hit you with all of the things now. Hey, it's pretty good. But if it was a box with a CD, I'm just repeating myself, I? I'm sorry. If it was a box with a CD in it and all these things, you think, wow, she's been really generous and given us a bunch of really great things in a really nicely made box. She's done the booklet really well. You know, 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. The fact there's not a CD in it means that I don't say that, even though I don't want the CD because I haven't got anything to play it on. I'm only saying all of these very confusing thoughts because they show that people's brains are strange. In this case, my brain. I still quite like it. Um, so just to sum up, because we're, we're all right, it's only 5.20, uh, could you write me a post-it note telling me what you thought about Lord's discless box? Was it a creative thing to do? And also just was it worth doing or not doing? It's the most important question you're going to have to answer this term. Money scam. Uh, scam. Is it a scam? I mean, for people who choose to buy it, they choose to buy it. They're not being tricked. Interesting about the scam thing. Though. I can see why you say that. Who listens to physical? Well, exactly. No, nobody listens to CDs. Um, she should have not done the vinyls as well. Yeah. At least it surprises. That's true. And could you design a different shape box, somebody? Working on it. Works. Taking notes this whole time. Cat. I see the thought process, but the execution could have been better. Yeah. A creative, tangible experience for Lord fans who chose to buy it. Yeah, that is true. I mean, you can buy it or not buy it. Nobody's making you buy it. Creative and environmentally friendly. Clearly creative enough and worked as a marketing ploy as you and many others bought it. Hmm. It should be cheaper than an album with a CD. <laughs> well, yeah. She could have changed the shape of the packaging and also include more photos. Yeah, it's true. Um, I think it's creative because it hadn't really been done before and included things that aren't always included with CDs. That's true. I don't think it's a scam because it was very clear that there was no CD. Yeah. That was interesting, though, wasn't it? I enjoyed that bit. 